We're zooming around the studio once more today. Today, we're talking with Heather Tonelli, the head of economic development in Queen Anne's County. And we're going to give you lots of information about small businesses, what people can do if maybe you've lost a job or if you're looking for a job, all types of information. So let's welcome Heather today. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, so this is very unique. We get the Zoom together. Have you been doing a lot of these? Actually, yeah. I Yesterday I had three back-to-back, -back, 9, 10, 11. So I'm, I hope I'm getting pretty good at it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, us too. So we're, 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 we're both hitting our peak at the same time. That's so I right. think like we're going to have a great right. Zoom interview. That's right. I even did my hair All right. today. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, so let's just get down to it because I know a lot's going on and people don't have a lot of time to waste. So let's get some great information. So are there any financial resources right now that are available from the state? Actually, yeah, they have three main programs that I wanted to make sure that we get the word out. They have a, a loan fund, which you can apply for for up to $50,000. It's for small businesses that have less than 50 employees. The application process is online. There's some other details that you want to make sure that you understand before you apply, like you need to be in good standing. You want to make sure that you have your uh, financial documents in front of you and your EIN number and, and that sort of thing. Um, but the great part about it is it's 0% for the first 12 months and then 2% for the remaining 36 months. And there's a deferral on payments for the first 12 months. So it, it's a great resource because you get the money now, you have little time to pay for it so you can recover. Um, there's also a grant fund where you could, a business, a small business could receive up to $10,000 dollars same application process online um, and i believe that you're going to provide those links um, still need to be in good standing the app uh, there's limited funding so you want to make sure to apply as soon as you can and then the last fund was just authorized last week it's been one week and it's for manufacturers and it's a uh, grants up to $100,000 so that they can either expand their production of PPE, which is personal protective equipment, or change over their um, manufacturing process in order to uh, produce things that are needed during the COVID process, uh, crisis. So um, that's, that's a great resource. And just one more thing with Maryland, they've also extended certain tax payments and certain deadlines related to um, filing. So you want to check that out online. Each tax is going to be a little different. So check it out. But that's a good opportunity to save some money. Yeah, that's great. I know we were talking right before we went live. Are there are a lot of uh, businesses that have been, you know, taking advantage of this. And there's probably still a lot more that could be taken advantage, right? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the, the Maryland programs are limited to businesses that have employees. Um, so those that don't have employees wouldn't be eligible for these specific programs. But the, the federal side, they, they do have programs that are available for sole proprietors and independent contractors and um, those that aren't taken care of. And, and also to note, you could apply for all these things at the same time. You don't have to do one or the other. Um, and, and I would suggest doing that because if you don't get the state funding, there's also opportunities to the Fed side that you might actually get. So take advantage right. of all of them if you can. And, and I know you're helping with lots of this. So are you helping with both the state and the federal? So all of them you can yes. help with businesses with? We, we are getting the information out. Um, and providing the information as much as we can. Uh, we can't technically help you apply, but we do have resources available that can help you apply. Um, right. The SBA, which I think we'll talk about in a minute too, they have some great resources as far as actually walking you step-by-step -step to apply. Great, great. I know uh, Congress just passed the, the CARES Act. So could you give us a little bit of information about that and how that might work for people? Sure. The, the two things that I wanted to make sure everyone uh, knew about the CARES Act and the opportunities there is the Payroll Protection Program loan, which is going to be rolled out actually today. Today is April 3rd. Um, so the, the banks are getting ready to roll that out. So you would go to a bank and it's SBA supported loan. So you're not going to be applying online like you are for the um, the other SBA loan that's available. So you want to contact your local bank, see if they are participating. And what that loan does is it, the whole goal is to help businesses continue employing employees. And should you be able to do that through this loan, then a portion of it could be forgiven. Now, please remember that these programs are changing. They're, I mean, literally just rolled out today. 
So right. there's details that I'm not telling you about that you, you want to talk to your local banker to make sure that you understand all the caveats of the loan process and what you need. But um, again, another great opportunity to help a business continue employing their employees during this slow time. Right. And, and I saw on your other, Facebook page just today, they actually had, you were linking people to SBA assistance, people that can help and do all that, right? Oh, yeah. But the SBA, um, the, the thing that we were talking about is two times a day, the Delaware SBA office, which also supports the Eastern Shore, has a live call at 1030 and eight o'clock at night. So what you need to do to prepare for that is you make sure you have your EIN number, your tax returns, your financials in front of you and some other basic information. And they walk you through how to apply on online. He answers questions live um, and you can see the, the screen while you're doing it. And then at the very end of the call, you're hitting send as long as you have all that information and you've applied for your SBA loan. That's, That's awesome. different than the, the the pay uh, payroll protection loan, the um, SBA loan is actually, um, it goes up to $2 million and the interest rate is 3.75. I'm looking at my notes, so I tell you correctly. <laughs> and it is available to nonprofits and that interest rate is 2.75. The, the great um, thing about the SBA loan too is there's a $10,000 forgivable portion of that loan. So you wanna get in there and apply um, if you listen to the SBA call, they'll tell you how to apply for that extra 10,000 forgivable portion. Um, another point that's important to, important to point out is those that applied for that loan when it first rolled out back March 30th, they're suggesting that you go back in and reapply so that you can get that $10,000 forgivable portion. That wasn't necessarily the case if you applied prior to March 30th. And they've simplified the application process. I went through one of the calls myself, and it's super simple as long as you have your information in front of you to apply. Um, they've just made it really easy for businesses because you've got bigger things to worry about right now, and you don't want to spend a whole day filling out a loan application. So they've made it as simple as possible. Well, that's, that's good. That's really good. Because I know, yeah, a lot of people are struggling with the time and, and how to get everything done. And they want to get it done as quick as possible, but you want to make sure everything's right too. So, but I'm glad they're working fast with everyone. Yeah. So I know a lot of people are worried about the business side and people that own the business, but, but there's also lots of employees that have lost jobs or have some issues with hours being cut back. Are there any programs for employees in the area? Well, you can apply as soon as you were laid off. The day after you're late, if you are laid off, the day after you're laid off, you're eligible for unemployment benefits. So uh, if you want to go online to Department of Labor and Licensing and go to the unemployment portion and apply online immediately. You can also call in to apply. And let's say that you were laid off when this um, the pandemic originally started and you haven't had a chance to apply, you still can and your benefits will come into play as of the date you were laid off. So you would have some back pay there. Um, also with the CARES Act that was just passed, I think a week, maybe two weeks ago, they're rolling out that unemployment will be eligible you will be eligible for unemployment if you are a sole proprietor or self-employed. That's never been the case before, and it's certainly probably not going to be a, a long-term offer, offer, but a short-term solution for those that are affected by COVID-19. That has not been officially rolled out yet. They're working through the um, application process because it is something so new and never been done before. So keep a lookout right. for that. So that's a great opportunity for those that are, you know, hairdressers or independent contractors and that haven't had that opportunity as a way to supplement your income to be able to pay your bills, put food on the table, that sort of thing. Right, sure. So I know we're throwing lots of information out right now and lots of names, lots of long titles of loans and all that. Right. Is there a place where everyone can go and get more information and get some more details about these? I suggest strongly going to the Maryland Department of Commerce's website. Um, and I believe you're going to put that up at, at the very end. It's uh, govstatus.egov.com. There's several different ways to get there. But the reason why I suggest that website is they keep it updated daily, if not hourly, with changes. All the links for every opportunity are on there for a Marylander, at federal and state level. Mm -hmm. So you would just read through. It says, if you need this, click on this. Go to this, learn more. And it walks you all the way through to the point where you can apply. Um, so that's your best resource. You can also visit our website at Visit Queen Anne's and at the very top, there is a link to go to the Maryland Department um, of Commerce website. 
Uh, we're here to help in any way we can. Uh, the information is ever changing, so please be patient with us. I mean, literally things sometimes have changed within a day or two. So we're giving you the information that we know will help you um, answer any questions and things that we don't know, we'll, we'll send up to the higher levels to find, find out your um, answer to your question. Great. And if people want to get in contact with you in the economic and development and tourism and all that, uh, where should they go or who should they contact? I would either visit our website or you can email me at htonelli at qac.org. Our phone number here is 604-2100. I'm pretty much here every day, but we're checking messages regularly and promise to get back to you. We have a staff of three other people that are here to help as well. And we're actively trying to reach out to businesses. Um, and if we haven't gotten to you yet, we will. Uh, so please reach out to us because we want to make sure we address whatever concerns or needs you have now because I know time is of the essence um, and we're doing the best we can to, to outreach. Yeah, that's great. I know you guys are there. I know you're working hard. You guys are putting out so much information. Is there anything else that we need to tell the people about if they need help with applying or if there's any more recommendations for anyone out there before we uh, let them go and get help? The one recommendation that I heard that I, I think is important is um, one, make sure you understand the criteria of the different loans that you're applying for. Take a little bit of time to research that first and then pull together all your information. Um, print the application if you can and fill it out manually just for your, your reference so that when you go online, you have everything you need to fill it out and not be stuck and have to stop and start again because you might time out and you don't want to lose the information you put in there. And then also they are not addressing incomplete applications. They are getting masses and masses and masses of um, applications through Maryland as well as the state, the federal portion. So uh, your, if your application is not complete, they are putting it to the side. Once this money's gone, it's gone. So it is really important that you take the time to prepare. Also utilize your uh, resources, your accountant, your lawyer, you know, your business resources that you use on a regular basis. They can also help you. The SBA has counseling opportunities, SBDC, SCORE. You could do it via Zoom, just like what we're doing today. So uh, reach out to the people that are, have been there in the good times. They're willing to help you in, in these times as well. That's right. So many resources, and we're so happy that there's so many in our in our county. So make sure you go to choosequeenanns.com. You get the information. You can follow Economic Development on Facebook. There's tons of stuff out there. I want to thank you for joining us today. I had fun chatting with you. Yeah, same here. Thank you for the opportunity. Any any way we can help, we're here and working hard to, to help our businesses. That's right. And maybe we can Zoom again next time if there's any more information we need to get out. Sounds so good. Keep following, thank you. Yeah, keep following us, too, and we'll put out more great videos like our Zoom interview. And we'll have fun. The All best right, we can. Thank All you. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. See ya.